in this video I want to show you the application of decimals in real life okay so let's start with a very simple question if 4 kg of apples cost five dollar twenty what's the cost of 10 kgs of apple so whenever you have a question like this it's always good to make two columns so let me make a column for kgs first I'll do without a calculator and then I will show you how to do without with a calculator and dollars okay so what's the information that we have for four kgs it is five dollars twenty the cost for four kgs is five dollar twenty and you want to find for ten kgs how much okay so ten kgs how much is your question okay so let's think in a proportional manner so if for four kgs it is five dollars twenty for eight kgs it will cost how much okay so from this what is happening here four from four you want to find of eight kgs that means this is four times two is eight so you do the same thing to this so times two so five dollars twenty times two if you double it so this is ten dollar forty this is ten dollars forty okay now from four dollars sorry from four kgs can you find for two kgs okay so what will happen so what what are we doing here here, here you're doubling and here you are halving it so if you from four if you want to find two kgs you can go well you have to halve this and this is not that easy so i'll say this if you want to five dollar twenty divided by two is I'll this is 520 cents I'll change this into cents divided by 2 so so this is half of 500 so I'll write this as 500 I want to do without a calculator 500 plus 20 divided by 2 so this is same as writing 500 divided by 2 plus 20 divided by 2 so this is 250 this is all in cents plus 10 so which is 260 cents some of you can directly do so and 260 cents is five dollar sorry 260 cents is two dollar sixty so you can say well this is two dollar sixty this is two dollars sixty so let me rewrite so what what's the information that we have for eight kgs you have ten dollar forty so for two kgs it is two dollars sixty okay so i want to find 10 kgs so for 10 kgs it is this is how much so this is this is zero zero this is thirteen dollars so answer is thirteen dollars so this is how you can do this without a calculator but some of you may struggle to think in this proportional manner so let me do this with a cal with a calculator how would you do it so yeah there's a different way of doing it is so this is kgs and dollars i'm going to use my calculator so from f you know for four kgs it is five dollars twenty now this method use you can do for any type of example so for one kg you should know that is five dollars twenty divided by four five dollars twenty divided by four I'll use my calculator again here the same proportional thinking so here you're dividing by four if you want to get one from four four divided by four is one so you do do the same thing here so that's why I'm dividing by four so I have to divide by four so let me use a calculator so this is five dollars twenty so let me show you the working oops okay so run menu five dollars twenty divided by four so first find the cost of one kg which is one dollar thirty this is one dollar thirty and then you find for ten kgs so this is becoming how many times bigger so this is ten times bigger so it also multiply this by ten and i hope you understand 1.3 times 10 so you can do this uh, 1.3 times 10 will give you 13 dollars okay so let's move on 
Toilet papers can be bought in packets of four for two dollars thirty-six, or in packets of six for three dollars sixty. Which packet is cheaper? So first, I would do, like to do it without a calculator. So let's take option one. So let me talk option one and option two. So the first option is you can buy two four packets, packets of four for thirty-six. So option two. So option one says you got four for how many dollars? Two dollars thirty-six. Two dollars thirty-six. So you can get two for half of this. So this is half of two is one dollar, and half of thirty-six cents is eighteen cents. So well, you can say that means for six, you can get for this is adding it. So six plus eight is fourteen. Remainder one, three, four, five, and this is three dollar fifty-four. For op option two, it is for six. You get for how many dollars? Three dollar sixty. So which is e which is cheaper? For option two, you get for three dollar sixty, and for in option one, you get six packets for three dollars fifty-four. Okay, or a different way of doing is, say for option one, four you get for how many dollars? Two dollars thirty-six. So I'm going to find for twelve. If you buy three packets, okay. So this is times three. Okay, so that means if you buy three packets, you get uh, twelve. Twelve. Uh, sorry, twelve. So if you want to buy uh, four. You get for four four for two dollars thirty six for twelve. You have to buy three of this. Okay, so so let me use a calculator. Two point three six two point three six times three, which is seven dollars eight cents. So this is seven point zero eight. Here, you know, for six you get six you get for three dollars sixty. Okay, so twelve. That means if you buy two of them, that is this is times two, so this is seven dollars twenty. So this way also you can see this is seven dollars twenty, and here you get seven dollars eight cents. Okay, so option one is I'll put a smiley face for option one. So this is the option that I'm going to choose. Okay, let's look at the one more problem. Sandra runs 850 meters. Oops. Sandra runs 50 meters in eight seconds. If she could keep this speed up, how long would it take to run a kilometer? Okay, so let me uh, do. Uh, so the question is: so Let me write meters and time. Okay, or seconds. So I'll let me write like this: distance and time. D for distance and T for time. Okay, so we know 50 meters she could run in eight eight seconds. Okay, so the question is, 1,000 meters would take how many seconds? That's the question. So let's think in a proportional manner. 50 times what is 1,000? So well, 50 times 50 times Twenty, isn't it? So let me. So let's check that. Or you can go if you want to find this number twenty. You can go one thousand divided by fifty. One thousand divided by fifty is twenty. Or if you go this way, fifty times twenty. You should always check. Fifty times twenty is one thousand. So this is becoming. Of course, I hope you know that one kilometer is one thousand meters. One kilometer is one thousand meter, and that's why I'm finding for one thousand meters. So this would be this would be times twenty. Times twenty. So this is one sixty seconds. Your answer is one sixty seconds. Okay. Now I hope you know one minute has sixty seconds. One minute has sixty seconds. Okay. So 
So 160 seconds if you want to change this into minutes. So let me change 160 seconds into minutes. So I'll go 160 divided by 60. That would be minutes. So let me use a calculator. 160 divided by 60 is 2 and this is 2 and 2 thirds. Okay. So let me write 2. So or you can go like this 160 ABC 60. And this is 8 thirds. And if you want, if you press shift ABC, now equal and shift ABC. No, it's not working. I don't know how to do it. This is 8 third. Uh, or this is this is eight thirds to be exact. This is two point six recurring minutes. Or this is eight thirds minute. Or this is two and two thirds minute. Okay, that's that's how much time you require. And now, what would be her speed in kilometers per hour? So we know, so in kilometers per hour, so let's again change this into distance and distance and time. So let, let's change 8 seconds. 1 hour has how many seconds? 1 hour has 3600 seconds because 1 hour is 60 minutes. And one minute, one minute, this is minutes, one minute is 60 seconds, 60 seconds. Okay, so we can say that is 50 meters is in 8 seconds, 50 meters in 8 seconds, which is 8 out of 3600 hours. Okay, 8 out of 3,600. So let me do that. 8 divided by 3,600. This is a very small number. Okay, so let's leave it like this. So, so 1 hour, uh, you want to express that in kilometers per hour. Okay, so I got a, a bit confused when I was trying to explain this. Sorry for the interruption. So now the next question is, what would be her speed in kilometers per hour? So the information that we have is she covers one kilometer in eight and two thirds of a minute, or eight thirds of a minute, or two and two thirds minutes. So I want to make this a tidy number. So what can I do here? So well, if I multiply this by three, that is 8 third times 3, okay, which is 24 thirds, which is 8 minutes. So in 8 minutes, she would cover how much distance? She would cover, so I have to do the same thing here, times it by 3, so in 3 kilometers. So now this is a neat number. So this 8 kilometers she covers in, uh, sorry, 3 kilometers she covers in, eight minutes. Now I want to find in one hour and I know I hope you know that one hour is 60 minutes. So 60 minutes is same as asking one hour. So now I have to ask the question eight goes in 60 how many times? So I don't know eight times what is so eight times seven is 56 so it should be more than seven. So I'll go use my calculator. So I'll go 70 Sorry, 60 divided by 8. It should be more than 7, so it's 7.5. Or you can check 8 times 7.5. 8 times 7.5 gives you 60. So this is increasing by how many times? So this is increasing by 7.5 times. If this is increased by 7.5 times, this has also to increase by 7.5 times. So 3 times. Where's my calculator? So I'll go 3 times 7.5, which is 22.5. So she's covering 22.5 kilometers in one hour. And that's what they're asking. What's the speed in kilometers per hour? So the answer would be 
22.5 kilometers per hour. You write only H for R, the unit for hour is H. So the answer is 22.5 kilometers per hour if she runs 50 meters in 80 seconds.